uh, to Call of Ever Wrestling Empire, episode 2, aka night 2, of the tournament to crown the two main championships. The tag team champions, there will be a tag team championships, but they won't be in the tournament, they'll just be on the weekly show. Uh, because I don't really have a lot of tag teams, so we're going to need to build some tag teams up across a couple of weeks. Uh, but yeah, hello! Um... Uh, if you missed episode one, uh, a little bit of a thing. Our first ever intergender uh, heavyweight champion, Sharky. So we're going to be doing a women's tournament today, obviously. Um, I So the whole plan of it is to do the women's side. Uh, these are our competitors for today. On our first match, we've got Asuka versus, J- versus uh, Josie Jane. I've got Rhea Ripley versus Kyrie Sane. We've got Renane Solo, who's actually been on Cult of Ed Wrestling near the end of Season 2. Uh, and actually picked up a victor, I think. I think she's like 1-0. So, you know, Re- Solo may be in the favourites in this match. Um, we've, and also Dakota Kai. Uh, and Bianca Belair versus Io Shirai. Off. Oh, right. First match on today's cards. Who do you think will win? It is Asuka versus Josie Jane. Onwards with the show. We are kicking off the show tonight in Tampa Bay, Florida, where we let ended off the last one. And we're kicking off against the Empress. It will be the Empress of Tomorrow versus an upcoming indie star. And here comes Asuka. Dancing her way to the ring with the fan. She knows it's boiling hot, so she's having a fan with her, just in case. But if you do not know the history between Asuka, she is faced against almost every single women's champion in Cold Red Wrestling. And she's just come up so short each time. She always gets the number one contenders matches. She always picks up the win there. But when it's time, when the time has come where it mattered, she falls short. And we seen with Tom earlier, Tom was in that same category. Tom, like, he was getting title shots, but he kept failing at the last hurdle, and he avenged himself tonight. So could this be a similar story to what Tom had? Or will, it, or will Oscar again fall short, but put in one hell of an effort? Who knows? Now, Josie Jane, new, not new to these parts of being in these uh, high school gyms and wrestling. Most of her life, she's been in the crowd, or not, well, not in the crowd, but on the streets, trying to defend herself. In the roughest parts of town, and she wants to make a living in professional wrestling, and she's put on one hell of an effort. Being in Cult of Ed Wrestling as well in the past. Uh, however, sadly, I don't think Josie has a great win and loss record, but this could be a make or break moment for Josie Jane. Uh, here's tonight Oscar. Josie Jane. Referee, ring that bell. WWE, go fuck spiders because that is not supposed to be there. And now we're off on the way. Now Asuka quickly with grappling, trying to take down Josie Jane, trying to do a wrist lock. Oh, quickly sweeps the legs. Asuka is a submission specialist. Josie Jane is more of a brawler. If Asuka can grab hold of you and lock in the Asuka lock, you're done for. I'm sorry, you're going to go blackout. You ain't gonna have any vision by the end of it. And wait a minute, Josie Jane going in for a Hurricane Rana. Taking down the Empress of Tomorrow. And lifting up Asuka. Uh, uh, not lifting. Eh, yeah, sort of lifting up Asuka. And Asuka going around, rebound German suplex. And already showing off to the small attendants. Right here. Josie Jane will quickly with an elbow strike, getting back in the ring. Another elbow to the teeth of Asuka. No, spinning back face, fucking hell. That just knocked her out. That full on knocked her out. Alright, super. Okay, well, that was just a receipt, I guess. We're already going strong style up in this. 
Okay, Angle Slam from the legendary Kurt Angle, who is the leader of the last true soldiers in Cult of Ever Wrestling. Now Oscar being put on the ropes in shame. Whilst Josie Jane puts her down on the second rope. What is she planning? Double jock kick straight to the shoulder. Uh, we saw that before. Night one, but could we see uh, new moves done? And Oscar going after the arm of Josie Jane. Now kick to the legs. Now looking for the kicks to the chest. Now roundhouse straight to the face again. And that back fist that like probably could have dislocated the jaw or whatever. So Oscar, why are you slapping your ass, Oscar? Uh, okay, well getting into the mind of their opponents, I guess. Quickly throwing it down into the mat again, stomping on the throat, trying to cut off the breathing. If you can't breathe, the circulation definitely like goes down, and like you struggle to even like concentrate and function. So just like wearing her out, making sure that she like can't do much in the ring. So then those vicious strikes like that fucking back fist that looks devastating could be used to a great effect. Now again, Oscar just taking her down with the strikes. Oscar, Oscar like is could is a great striker. I'm not gonna lie, Oscar is one hell of a striker. But like in this game, like Josie should be, you know, that is in her element. Josie Jane is the more striker-based fighter in this fight in this match. And, like, Oscar needs to do some more grappling. And Oscar now, again, trying to lock up with Josie Jane. But Josie Jane using them clutched fists right to the kidneys to try to, like, break out. Throws Oscar into the ropes. And now looking for a DDT, Tornado DDT, planting her dome first into the canvas. Now, Josie Jane. Oh, look, wait, hold on. Oh, Sunset Flip, Powerbomb, straight to the blue mats on the outside. Those mats don't really give padding that much on the outside. Like, I guess, like, if it's on wood, it's more dangerous, but, like, Jesus. And Josie Jane just fighting against Asuka on the outer side. Hopefully, there will not be a count out. I swear to God, we ended that last tournament with a count-out victory. We're not, hopefully, not going to start this one with one. Elbow strike straight to the jaw again. Uh, Oscar looking for an armbar on the outside. What? Asuka, Asuka, that is not a good idea. Oh, letting go of the arm. Eight count by the ref, and Josie Jane... Uh, having the wisdom to go into the ring, but then quickly goes back out, restarting the count, and Oscar just throws it back in, just being like, bitch, no. You wanna get back in the ring? You're getting back in the ring. <gasps> oh shit, Oscar may be looking for the Oscar lock. Oh, kick to the stomach. Oh, just hitting those kicks again. Oh, spin him. Oh, spinning heel kick, straight to the jaw. Josie could be knocked out right here. Oh, Josie quickly getting back up. Oh, going for the legs of Oscar. What the fuck she doing? She a uh, uh, um, more mutated look on the octopus hold, and a quick elbow strike getting out of there. M knees probably a little bit damaged. And Josie Jane quickly putting Oscar into the corner, kick to the gut. Now looking for a little bit of Jeff Hardy's like kick to the chest. Trying to concave the rib cage, trying to make sure that that don't work properly. Again, breathing is a major thing that you got to do in a fight because if you can't breathe, then how the fuck are you going to win? You're going to be like dead. No, no, Josie Jane back on the outside, kitchen sink, taking down. Josie Jane on the outside, Oscar trying to stay on top of this big right hook. And watch Josie Jane looking for Brainbuster! <laughs> Brainbuster on the outside trying to split apart her head. Five count by the ref. Now back in the ring. And Josie Jane looking for a finisher. 
Oh, this could be it. Oh, drops it down. One, two, three. And Josie Jane gets the first win of the night. Dang. Already we're starting off strong here tonight. Here is your winner, Josie Jane. Josie Jane beating the Empress of Tomorrow quickly in this tournament. And she'll be going into the semi finals after that one. We'll be moving on into our second match once the game loads. Because it's obviously going to take a bit. It is now our second match here tonight. It is Rhea Ripley versus Kyrie Sane. Right. We're in Detroit now for a second match. And making her way to the ring. If she will pair is Rhea Ripley, the Australian. Not really having a great start in Season 2, and while she did gain a little bit of momentum, again it was squashed pretty quickly. But Rhea Ripley in other companies or other places in the world, she's known as one dominant son of a bitch. And she has, and she will do anything to pick up the win. And in Call of Duty Wrestling, she took out one of her competitors with a steel chair, I think. If I remember correctly. Yeah, play just waiting for her opponent to get in the ring. Probably laser focused in winning this tournament. And now it is time for the Pirate Princess. Kyrie Sane and from Yamaguchi, Japan, making her entrance there tonight. Sane! Maybe that's the thing with that Sharky, like, you know, maybe she had, like, the pirate ship of Kyrie Sane. Who knows? Right at the moment, Kyrie Sane walking to the ring. As proud as can be. And she's looking to pick up a win as well. Both of these women, I believe, deserve to go into the second round. The semi-finals. But only one of them can, sadly. And we're going to see who's the truly the better women's wrestler here tonight. Rhea Ripley, Curry Sane, referee, ring that motherfucking bell. Now both women walking up, and Rhea Ripley not even going in for the grappling, full, all the way, going in for the Uranagi. And already headbutting Kyrie Sane. We know those headbutts can be lethal, as uh, Night One's winner proven that. And then quickly, both of them grappling up into the ropes. Referee got to pull them apart, maybe. Oh, Rhea Ripley. Rhea Ripley should respect there. All right. Maybe maybe there is. A oh, shit. But never mind. Roundhouse kick straight to the air. Rhea Ripley probably playing along for like a little bit of respect. And now, and now he's just like ripping into her. Just being like, fuck it. Die. All right, Rhea Ripley quickly getting a kick to the back of the knee. Oh. Rhea Ripley 
and having northern lights straight into the canvas. And a really big kick straight to the teeth. Probably. And now Rhea Ripley just going for ground and pound, trying to like break a nose or something. Of Kyrie Singh. Oh, trying to go for an arm drag, but Kyrie Singh quickly sweeping on the leg underneath. Double axe handle taking on Rhea Ripley. And dragging her across the canvas. Now cranking that neck. Hit. <laughs> Just fucking kill the person, I guess. Um. Oh. Rear Ripley her up. Oh, Bannon again goes for another roundhouse kick. Rear Ripley, the roundhouse kick specialist at this point in time. What the fuck? And now just starting to torque the arm a little bit of uh how are you saying again just kicking her in the face just like trying to like maybe break a f like a bone a cheekbone or something and again I never roundhouse kick. Really up like the queen of roundhouse. Oh northern lights from Rhea taking down Kyrie Singh. Rhea standing tall. Maybe Rhea Merkley might pick up a win. Who knows? Snap suplex. Down to the mat. And now, oh. A Yurinagi. Rhea Ripley's dominating this match. Like, this is the dominant side that other companies is getting, like, like, this is what happens in the other companies whenever people mess this with Rhea. Like, full-on MMA expert shaving a base that got torn apart. Drop kick! And just stomping on that knee, he's been like, You need those shits and die. No, you don't need them anymore. I'll break them. And then, <laughs> booting her in the face. Rhea Ripley not really going for that much of grapples, just for roundhouse kicks. Fucking hell. Kyrie Sane! No! Can someone. Right, Rhea, just literally go for the pin. She's just dead at this point. Snap super. Like, Rhea's just sending a message. She don't even go for a finisher. She ain't even going for a signature. She's just going to literally send a message to everyone in the tournament and she's brutalizing her in her music which we will get copyrighted for if we played it it said this is my brutality she is showing literally her brutality at this point oh and Kyrie Singh with an elbow strike straight to the dome piece of Rhea Ripley double axe handle taking down Rhea and going in for the why the fuck are you going for the cover after double axe handle when Rhea literally been swatting you down like a fly, Kyrie. Oh, Kyrie's using them elbows and that's probably a good thing, you know. Kyrie with the insane elbow, like when that elbow drop hits, your arteries die, like I'm saying that much. Oh, is she going for the insane elbow? Oh no, she didn't. She went for a double stomp, equally effective in my opinion, because literally it's both feet shitting down on your stomach. Kyrie lifting up Rhea Ripley, going in for a suplex. Taking him down. Um, taking down Rhea Ripley. Maybe Rhea was getting overconfident. Maybe her confidence got ahead of her judgment, which is why she is getting fucked. Not to literally, though. Rhea Ripley. Oh, dodging that. Super kick. Rhea looking for a suplex here. Oh, what the fuck? Oh no, it's a deadlift suplex. Rhea Ripley showing off her strength to the audience. Big strong lady. Dropping her down. And then going in for the cover. One, a two, a three. And it's off of the delayed suplex. She know Kyrie said maybe that was a little bit of adrenaline and that was all it was. But Rhea Ripley picking up the victory here tonight. Very quick and decisively as well, I must say.
So well done to Rhea Ripley. She'll be progressing in the tournament. To the semi-finals. After that dominant... That was dominant. It, that was just shown pure strength for Rhea. Saying that if anybody gets in the way, they're fucked. And that means we got Rhea Ripley versus um, Josie Jane. Anyway, we're moving on to our next match here tonight is Renee. I can't fucking say it. It's French for Queen. Can I just call her Queen Solo? <laughs> Renee Solo versus Dakota Kai back in Tampa Bay, Florida. For our third match in the tournament, our third uh, first round match, and it is the, the last true, the la well not last true fighter, I was thinking last true soldiers, the last fighter standing, in her words, not mine, it is Solo. And Solo walking down to the ring. With purpose, oh, I don't know, one and oh, streaks of far and cold red wrestling. It's got potential, she could win the tournament if she wants. And the lights are just dimmed out, it's almost blackout apart from her, you can only see her at the moment. You're looking around, going in. Ring and just staring around ringside. And now it's time for the leader of Team Kick. Her name is Dakota Kai. Kai going the still steps there, skipping down to the ring, knowing that she can probably win this tournament. She's been in COVID wrestling and had equal opportunities. In fact, I think she did actually almost win a match, like a win a couple matches. But again, that's almost, that's not picking up the W and she needs to pick up the W here tonight against Solo. We got a highly skilled veteran in Dakota Kai versus a new blood in Solo. And we're going to kick it off and both women start charging at each other, but a DDT happens to Dakota Kai. I'm so sorry. You know, putting the knee straight on the back of the head, grinding it down into gears. And a kick to the spine? No, that didn't work. Oh, a running knee strike straight to the back of the head, though. And stomps it straight to the titties. Pushing up, and I'm looking for a jewel breaker. Taking down uh, Solo. And a bitch kick onto the chest. And roundhouses. And quickly, bitch. <laughs> using a heel right there. Again, team kick leader. She knows how to use them legs in lethal ways. And now quickly with a bulldog taking down uh, Solo. The Kokai actually getting... Getting hold of this one. Crucifix driver straight down into the canvas. So that much. A one count by the referee. The referee... Uh, impartial as always. Now looking for a net breaker. Going in for a stunner. Now quickly chop to the teeth that would look like. And a quick backbreaker trying to 
loosen up the spinal cords a little bit. Not spinal cords, just spine. Now bulldog. And quickly, Solo just booting Dakota in the face as hard as she can, trying to create distance right there. Going to the outside, Dakota Kai with a kick of her own, and now going in for a net breaker. And going in for a running drop kick there, kneeling it slightly, and lifting up Solo on the outside. Dakota Kai getting in some of those kicks that she is famous for, a jewel breaker on the outside. Don't know why you would want to go for a jewel breaker on the outside, I'm not going to lie. Uh, and a quickly ramming her head straight into that still post. Dakota Kai maybe looking for a count out victory. We know that people can progress in the tournament via count out. But Solo just wanting to go back on the offense. Eight from the ref. Oh, for fuck's sake. Nine. Oh, D Dakota quickly breaking up the camp, though. She she don't want to win that way. She went back to the outside, though. Trying to chop her in the titties, and then, like, you know, that didn't work. Lifting up. High knee straight to the eye socket. And then lifting up. Dakota Kai going in for the kick. Dakota Kai says no. Knee straight to the eyeballs. And now looking for the Crucifix driver straight on the neck. And again, going in for a move. I don't really know what she was going for there. Solo now trying to do some technical wrestling, but the Kokai with a punch to the kidneys, trying to break out of it. A competitive match from them, too, surprisingly. Kokai proving her stance in Cult of Ed Wrestling, trying to prove that she ain't just, um, she isn't just, like, enhancement talent. She is a big feature on these shows, and that she should, her name should strike, uh, fear and should sell venues, not be used to make other stars. And Solo is, is giving her a run for her money in that regard, I guess. Solo only having one win underneath her belt, no losses though, in Cult of Ed Wrestling. Like, Solo could build a winning streak and win this tournament, or her streak could come over. And Kuro Kai getting pumped up on the outside, stomping her straight in the ass. Now, and now quickly, the Kuro Kai trying to. Put, Trying to like damage the leg right there. And a hyper extend it. Five count by left. Six. Dakota Kai. Going in the ring. Oh, breaking up the pinfall. Not breaking up the pinfall, breaking up the count out. See, look, I'm a comes here and I fuck up on my own show. Uh elbow strike straight to the eye. Kick to the gut. Oh, and wait a minute, solo. Looking for a Samoan drop on the outside. Now Solo quickly going in for the Russian leg sweep. And then going for a big boot, but then quickly been turned into a net breaker. Seven by the referee, super kick straight to that jaw. Koro Kai is actually looking like that she might win this match. What's going on here? A nine by the referee! Restart our fucking match. We ain't, we ain't having a count out draw. No. Why is it just frozen? Okay, we're going into this. 2k. There you go. We're starting this match again. Draw, we ain't having that. Both women back in the ring. Elbow strike straight to their face of Solo. Maybe Dakota Kali needed a breather or something? I don't know. She was going on the offense on the outside. Jumping drop kick straight to the shoulder. And, uh, both of these women will have to sustain, sustain damage from their first, first encounter. Uh... 
He chopped straight to the face again. Just literally like, boop. Like a fucking slap, but more dangerous. Punch straight to the gut, punch to the back. Now, again, dropping her, just lifting her up and just sitting down. Dropping her back first. In with a takedown. Now, so they're looking for a net breaker stunner. Oh, here we see Sora lifting up the Kokai. Oh, kick to the gut. Looking again for Netbreaker. And so they're pointing up to the sky, looking like a superhero in her own aspects. Now looking uh, for a suplex into the ring, making sure the Kokai does not go to the outside. Kind of like the tactic that we've seen earlier. Maybe she knows why. No. Oh, lifting up the Kokai and planting her straight back down into the canvas. And a snap suplex to Dakota Kai. And wait a minute, what's going on here? Power bomb? No. Oh, it looks like a submission hold. I thought it was going to be a crucifix or something. Well, I guess it was a submission. Oh, the Kokai. What the freak? <laughs> booting her on the back of the head and then quickly again with this combination of kicks. Unique style kicks, though. Throwing her across to the other side of the ring. Chop to the chest. And what is the Kokai planning for a tornado? DDT off of the second rope. And wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Solo going in for the roll up. One. Kick out one. A super kick or black mass looking move. Just knocking out. Knocking out the Kokai right there. And again, looking for that super kick looking style move. And going in for a tornado DDT, planting her straight on the head. What is Dakota Kai looking for? Oh, Dakota Kai not really getting what she wanted after sort of getting up. Bulldog straight back into the same position. Looks like Dakota Kai just gave up on what she wanted to do and originally. And what is Dakota Kai? Oh, detonation kick. And getting caught up in the ropes. Snap mare down into the mat. Now quickly Dakota Kai with a running kick to like the jaw. One. One. No, again looking for that submission. To the Kokai. Maybe it's hyperextending the back a little bit. To the Kokai. Go. I'm going to say that again. The Kokai getting out of that submission. Uh, snap her down to the ground. And now I rake. Oh, no. Punch we got. Clothesline from the Kokai. And another clothesline. Combinations right there. Oh. Three clotheslines. No, in the corner, what would her be her plan? Kicks her legs, kicks her legs. Putting uh, Solo on the top rope right now. Maybe looking for a Harakamana. Straight down into the middle of the ring. That could be it. Never mind, she just got up. And now, again, looking for that submission hold. What is it about the submission? She's trying to make the Kotokai tap. Or at least break her spine somehow. The Kotokai quickly getting out of that submission again. Looking a little bit wary though. Slap that hand down. Ooh. What's the Kotokai's plan? Puts her in the corner. Ooh, throws her to the other corner. Ooh. 
tries to kick her down. And then quickly, DDT dropping the coat quiet, face first into the canvas. Stomp to the back of the head. Now trying to snap the neck of Dakota Kai. Uh, you want to know who that is? That was my brother. He was also visiting. That's going to be a new video. Uh, okay. Uh, that's fun. Uh, thrown straight back into the ring. Kokai. Quickly putting Solo into the corner. Nope, just throwing her back outside. Well then, why the fuck would you throw her back in the ring? Mind games. And then quickly... Uh, they're just throwing her in and out of the ring. What what the fuck is does this achieve? Oh, throws her into the corner this time. Oh, and Solo just had enough of them. Of the Kokai just throwing her around like nothing. Solo getting hyped up. What could Solo go for? Oh, Solo. Going on the top turnbuckle. Could. Oh no, not an avalanche drop onto the canvas. You know, quickly, Dakota Kai, what is she planning? Straight onto the back. Double knees, just like sunset flip, double knees into the spine of Solo and then picking up the win there. The Kai, un one of the most unlikely challengers in this tournament, picking up a win against Solo. But we should know this by now because almost everybody in the Empire tournament in like episode one that we thought would win uh, ended up losing in the first round. Yeah, that knee move right there, just straight on the spine, flipped over into the pinfall. Here is your winner, Dakota Kai! Dakota Kai. Picking up a huge win. It's tonight. And now it's time for our next match, which will be Bianca Belair versus Io Shirai. Who do you think will win? Houston, Texas, and we're on our final first round match. And it is Bianca Belair versus Io Shirai. The contest is a championship first round match. Making her way to the ring from Knoxville, Tennessee, Bianca with her long ass hair coming out impressing a lot of people in the cult of Edward wrestling community across the past couple of COVID episodes that she's been in The EST. Bianca Belair calls herself. And now it is time for Io Shirai to make her entrance. 
the Sky Pi uh, Princess. And from Tokyo, Japan, Io Tokyo, Japan's finest Io Shirai. Shirai entering in the ring. And taking off the mask. Uh, oh, Christ, I'm forgetting stuff now. Ah, uh, I forgot the name. It's a little pain homage to Rey Mysterio with that mask. New Shirai. Being one of the competitors that got close but didn't get there in the end. Could Io Shirai win this tournament? Who knows? She's currently dominant on a different show uh, named NXT, being the NXT Women's Champion. But uh, right now it's her versus Bianca Belair. Uh, double something. No, her Karana. Io Shirai get, get in the upper hand. Now I'll kick out one. And quickly, Bianca Belair doing some squats and looking for a power slam straight to Io Shirai. And now quickly Io Shirai with a getting a kick to the gut. Knee strike straight to uh, Bianca Belair and then another Karakamana. A bit straight straight to the gut almost happened, but Bianca Belair doing double underhooks. Oh, double underhook! Like a slam into the mat. I don't know what that move is, but it was definitely a double underhook. Um, driver, nonetheless, and quickly it like dropping the Shrey straight down onto the canvas. No, putting Ishirai on the ropes. Ishirai answering back with her own Harakamana. Uh, Ishirai just doing flippy shit to make sure that she disorientates her opponents and also uh, proving that she is more of the agile type in this match than Bianca Belair, which is just pure strength. It's quickness and planning versus just strength at the moment. And stomp straight to the arm. And double axe handle straight into the shoulder blades. And a el elbow drop straight to the back of uh, of Bianca Belair. And Bianca Belair now taking down Irish right and now just pummeling her straight in the head. Just pummeling down after that takedown. And now going around the back of Irish right and now looking for the rack attack submission. And try, again, trying to hyperextend the back. We've seen Solo try to do this earlier, and it didn't work in her favor. Kicks to the gut, and now looking for the tiger, tiger driver. No fairy tale ending. Shades of Tommaso Ciampa. You should write it. Kick to the gut. Vanos kick straight to the jaw, knocking. Knocking out uh, Bianca Belair a lot. And now you should ride looking for the EO Moon Soul. Double stomp. Mushroom stomp instead. That was not what I was expecting. I was expecting a Moon Soul. And quickly Bianca Belair just on the attack. Straight after that. And that mushroom stomp has been used by Edward P. 1 2 3 to end like a lot of big matches. And that move normally get, never gets kicked out of. One and a kick out of one, just like that. But instead, like you know, like that move is devastating in its own right. And Io Shirai just used it, and now quickly a pump handle, and pump handle into the back of breaker.
Think about that, planning the kick to the gut. And quickly, Ishirai on the outside, going back into the ring. And knees to the spine. And then Bianca Belair, oh, quickly claps on the ears. Throwing her back into the corner. Punch to the face. No, he's quickly with a power slam. And now, oh, yes, right, quickly with uh, arm drag straight into the uh, canvas. Yes, right. Going for a running knee straight to the jaw connecting. Lifting up. Bianca Belair. Now looking for a cross face here. The referee looking to see if the submission, if Bianca Belair will tap out cross face. Oh, Bianca Belair quickly getting out of it though. Kicks to the gut. Uh, oh, throwing her down. Yankee. Uh, Yankee the nostrils of. Uh, Kairi Sane. Kairi Sane will punch the gut and a punch straight to the face getting out of that predicament. But then Bianca Belair answers back with one of her punches. I will strike straight to the face. Double axe handle misses. And again with a clubbering strike. Now quickly lifting up. Oh! Knee straight to the head. And a Harakamana taking down uh, Bianca Bella was Ishirai planning we've already seen her do a mushroom stomp could she be going for the EO moonsault oh another mushroom stomp going in for the cover this could be it one two and a kick out two because one not what the fuck and now Ishirai Going into the corner, going up top. Waiting for. Never mind, not even waiting, just going for a diving elbow. Straight to the spine. Oh, and quickly turns that around. Oh, dropping her head on the knees. No, what is Bianca Bella looking for? Sizing up here, shall I? Spear straight into the canvas. And then lifting up, could she go for the ST? Oh, rack attack maybe? Or is it the ST? Oh no, it is the rack attack. I'm sure I'm trying to stay out of this, punching her in the back of the head. Trying to get out of that submission predicament. Looking for a Tyler Driver maybe? Oh! Jesus! Well, I definitely took her out and Ian Shoy may be looking for a moonsault and hits them. <laughs> hits the ear of moonsault. One, two, three. Ian Shoy moves up into the semi finals. So it'll be Ian Shoy versus Dakota Kai and also Rhea Ripley versus. Um, if I remember correctly, maybe it's Bianca Belair. Uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, I think it's Josie Jane. I think that's it. I'm not quite sure. I am bad at remembering names. But Io Shirai picking up the victory here, hitting that moon. S no, that's the mushroom stomp. Um, there's Io Shirai. To our next match here tonight. Hello, Solo. We'll be moving on to the semi finals now. Is 
Your first match of the semi-finals is Josie Jane versus Rhea Ripley. Please bet and chat who you think will win. And now it is Josie Jane versus Rhea Ripley. Ring that bell and we're into our first semi-final match. And Josie Jane hitting a standing Spanish fly. And quickly with a super kick. Taking down Rhea Ripley. Already getting the upper hand. But already a one count though. Now quickly. Josie Jane lifting up. Uh, Rhea Ripley. But Rhea Ripley quickly with that reverse. So. Uh, no, quickly and dropping her down. Gun stun, not uh, gun stun, onto the ropes. No one count by the referee. Both women not letting up in this match. No, again, Rhea Ripley trying to go for a roundhouse kick. Kicks um to get the title. To win this tournament, super kicks again, and Rhea Ripley just standing there out of range. And now a big clothesline taking on Josie Jane. Both of these wrestlers are brawlers as well, which helps to fight in this predicament. And now Josie Jane locking in that weird submission, trying to uh, cause a little bit of harm to Rhea's knee, which Rhea is favoriting at the moment. Oh, and Rhea looked like she was going to go for a top-notch cutter. Shades of top Houston boy. Now looking for that Sunset Flip Powerbomb, but that Sunset Flip Powerbomb did not work. Now lifting up Rhea Ripley. Going in for a Hurricane Rana, taking her down straight to the canvas. And elbow strike straight to the face. Clothesline straight into the... Canvas. Now, oh, pushing her into the ropes. Pushing her into the turnbuckle right there. And now looking for a DDT. Oh no, Harakarana taking down Rear Ripley. And one. Kick out that one. Now looking for a suplex into a knee strike from Rhea. Trying to like take out a nose or something. Just already trying to hit those knockout blows. What? <laughs> huh? But why? <laughs> uh, the double drop kick straight to the face. Of Josie Jane. And now quick punch to the gut. And now quickly with a Hurricane Runner taking down uh, Rhea Ripley. And now pop up Hurricane Runner again. Or Josie Jane hitting those Hurricane Runners off the bat. Just trying her hardest to uh, make sure that you, that Rhea Ripley, don't. Uh, know where she is and throwing Rhea straight outside and Josie Jane maybe looking for a big move right here. Who knows? Rebounding off the rope and hitting a suicide dive, sending Rhea into the metal barricade on the outside. Hitting some big moves, high risk moves for high reward. Could this put away Rhea Ripley though? Drop kick afterwards. Devastating effect. Quickly, Josie Jane getting thrown back into the ring. Ooh. And now quickly, Josie Jane flipping out of it. Back drop driver straight to Rhea Ripley. Now quickly with a standing moonsault from Josie Jane to Rhea Ripley, gaining some momentum. And now looking for it. What the hell was that? I think Rhea Ripley didn't take a, any of the damage from it, but Josie Jane went up airborne and started doing a spiral moonsault looking move, and now missile dropkick in the corner, and just trying to wear down Rhea Ripley. 
as much as she possibly can. Oh, lifting up Rhea. Super kick. Stomp to the legs. We're getting out. And then coming straight back in. And looking for a top notch cutter, but quickly reversed into an ankle slam. Now, quickly, a punch straight to the face. Now, Rhea Ripley throwing. Um, Frozen Josie Jane into the middle of the ring. Quickly trying to go for a clothesline. Uh, but that didn't really work. One, two, and a kick out of two. And then, oh, dodging that overhand strike. And now quickly dropping Josie Jane onto the ropes. Down below, and now double drop kick straight into the ropes. And now we're really looking for that elevated suplex that took out many people before. Could this be it for Rhea? Could she go into the finals after this elevated suplex? Down goes Josie Jane. And we're really looking like that. She thinks that that is the win, trying to drag her away from the ropes. One, two, and Josie Jane kicking out. Ray Ripley not looking pleased. And now Ray Ripley looking for a Riptide maybe. Oh, underneath. Ray Ripley, Riptide straight into the powerbomb. Going in for the cover, but there was a rope break. Now Ray Ripley flexing on them haters. In attendance. Now quickly being pushed off, Josie Jane could get a super kick in, which she does. One, two, and a kick out to her. And Josie Jane holding her head in disbelief. Now quick clothesline straight into the canvas. And quick kick to the gut. Punch to the face. Now, Rhea Ripley looking for a missile drop kick. Oh no, just dragging her head onto the ropes, trying to, trying to get that neck to be like strangled and damaged, and trying to like make sure she can't go. Ripside could have got her a win, but the ropes was in the way. That could have cost her the match. And Josie Jane saying, "You." You're my only way to get to the top, and I'm going through you. Sunset flip powerbomb. Onto the outside. Going back into the ring. Just obliterating Rhea Ripley, thinking that that might be enough. Lifting her up. Bring her back over. Maybe looking for another sunset flip powerbomb. Just hitting a bunch of them. Maybe this might take out Rhea Ripley. <clears throat> And now there we go, two. She she put up the two sign. How many that she's done so far? Her Karana. Trying her hardest at everything she possibly can to throw at Rhea. And straight away she goes headfirst into a pole. And Rhea Ripley looking for a power bomb on the outside. Dropping her back first into the outside. Now quickly, six count from the referee. This might go to a double draw, which means that this match will have to be restarted. I'm hoping that will not happen. But also, I'm hoping that there won't be a count out. Oh, and Rhea quickly throwing Josie Jane back into the ring. Rolls in at a fast record pace. Now power slam straight into the canvas. Stomps her shoulder. Lifting up Josie Jane. Top notch cutter. Going in for the cover. One, two, and a kick out two. What the fuck? And now, what is 
What is Rhea Ripley's plan? Oh, trying to break the neck of Josie Jane, of course, because that is the only rational way to do it. And then quickly, Josie Jane! And that was the same move that she won the first round with. One, two, and a kick out to from Ray Ripley. I was about to say, that was the same move that she won the first round with, and she could have won the semi uh, with that move as well. And a drop kick to the back of the head of Josie Jane. And Ray Ripley just going after the legs now. Everything she possibly can just to stay on top in this match. Josie Jane almost obliterating Rhea and Rhea not letting this slide one bit. And now looking for a guillotine choke, maybe looking to tap her out. Rope break though. And the referee getting a little bit enthusiastic there. I'm not saying anything but Jesus Christ ref. You've had too much coffee. No, Rhea Ripley looking for that elevated suplex, but that knee strikes to the top of the dome, stopped her, and then quickly with a drop kick of her own, Josie Jane quickly with a standing moonsault. Now Rhea Ripley standing up. Oh, sunset flip powerbomb, and nailed it to perfection. Again, near the ropes, they need to get out of the ropes in order to do this. One, two, and kick out of two. And Rhea just standing up after that in the fight. Josie Jane throws her into the ropes. Looking for that tornado. DDT plants her. And this is going to be one hell of a match. Well, it is already one hell of a match. Trying to go for a nice kick, but Rhea quickly saying no to that. And now both women are going on to the outside. Now looking for the top notch cutter. Oh, man. Quickly almost thrown her into the steps there. And now lifting her up. Looking for a snap suplex onto the outside. Josie Jane just making sure that Rhea on the outside. Just obliterating Rhea Ripley on the outside. It's her domain. Eight, Eight by the referee. Is Josie Jane just taking the count out win? I say. And quickly throwing her back into the ring, Josie Jane. And now Rhea Ripley. Rhea Ripley just looking to end this probably any way she can. Oh, suplex. Oh, elevated suplex again. This was the move that got her into round, got through round one. Can this take her past the semi-finals? Elevated suplex. Goes for the cover. One, two, uh, why? <laughs> How? Riptide number two, could this be it? This could be the end. Oh no, Josie Jane reverses out of it. And Josie Jane looking for her finisher that she used in round one. Nails it. One, two, three. And Josie Jane is going into the finals. Rhea Ripley picking up a massive L uh, and Josie Jane 
We thought that she was out when that riptide happened. Maybe that riptide cost her. But Josie Jane, one of the more unlikely wrestlers in this bout, and she's going into the she's going to the top. It'll be either Io Shirai or or um Dakota Kai, which we'll see here, right here, right now. Who do you think will win? Dakota Kai or Io Shirai? Place your bets in chat, people. We're in the semi-finals. We're in the last bit of the semi-finals. It is Io Shirai versus Dakota Kai. And quickly, both women are grappling. Dakota Kai outpowering Io Shirai, pushing her into the corner. Now the referee got split them apart. And that is all right. We're, on, we're live on there. And a clothesline straight into the corner. Now quickly... Dakota Kai looking to um, handle Io Shirai a little bit there. Now dropping her down, kicking her in the face. Mm, looking for the cover. No. Kick out. Now quick Hurricane Runner from Io Shirai to Dakota Kai. Now stumps to the back. And now Dakota Kai looking for a snap suplex on Io Shirai. No, Io Shirai is not staying down in one spot. And right now, Dakota Kai is just kicking her in the face so hard. So those quick kicks, those quick sharp kicks of Dakota Kai's. Uh, and then Dakota Kai, oh, arm drag with a uh, hip toss, well not hip toss, like a monkey flip, sort of arm drag there, and taking Io Shirai to the outside, and now Snapmare back into the ring. Dakota Kai proving that she is a tougher challenge than anyone gives her credit for, and Io Shirai with a hurricane on and being like, bitch, and this, I've been here this entire time, overlooked, underappreciated, and now she's taken back what's hers and both of these women have something to prove they both want the empire's women's championship they're gonna do anything in their power to get it and they're looking for a choke slam but Ishrai is like hell to the nah you ain't gonna choke slam me today sucker no, quickly Ishrai putting her down on the ropes trying to go for maybe a missile drop kick no 619 Part of the legendary Rey Mysterio and also the Dragon Slayer move from our recently crowned um, uh, Empire Heavyweight Champion, Sharky. And now, quickly with a missile drop kick right there. Quickly with a leg drag, taking on the Ishrai, kick to the face again. Part of team kick, snapping her down, and again booting her in the face, just using her legs to her advantage as part of team kick, knowing all of the kicks uh, out of all the classes. Like if you don't think there's a kick that she can't invent, she does know that. And the crowd clapping in admiration. Uh, for Dakota Kai, but Dakota Kai plonking the Ishirai in the corner, and what is Dakota Kai plan? Oh shit! <laughs> Welp! Oh god! Oh god! This is a net breaker off the top. Try to kick her in the back of the legs and the coat quite being like, nah, inverted Boston crab, baby. Trying to wrench those legs back, but quickly getting tripped up herself. Now quickly, as you try, trying to take the advantage of anything that she can have in her system. 
And now Ishirai looking for that kick straight to the head. But the Kotokai getting up with the pure, like, toughness in the Kotokai. Taking that kick to the side of the head and just being like, no, I'm getting up. And Ia Shirai again using quickness, using her agility as her strength. The Kotokai has her kicks. Ia Shirai has basically every top mo rope move known to mankind. And Ia Shirai now going in for the cross face, trying to take out the Kotokai, but the Kotokai throwing her over and trying to make sure that she has that a little bit. And now again, the Kotokai grounding Io Shirai is one of the big weaknesses. If you can ground a person that goes flippy doodah shit, then basically they can't do said flippy doodah shit. Science with Ed. <laughs> um... Now quickly Ishirai punched her back. Now it is going to be one of the big, big drawing tournaments. Kick to the kidneys. And now looking for a forearm straight to the chest of the Kotokai. And now stomp to the gut. And then never stomp. And now Ishirai just grinding double heels straight to the throat. And double knees. And now shaking them. Oh, fuck. <laughs> we definitely ain't gonna get, like, good people from this. Uh, anyway, clothesline from Kokai, and then never clothesline going in for the hat trick clotheslines right here. Taking the issue right into that same corner that she was just in earlier. Good Kokai. Part of team kick run from there, corner to corner. Big boot! Big boy boot. Straight to the jaw, messing her shits up, that's what I'm talking about, going for the cover, one, two, three, wait, hold on, I messed up the count, hold on, that's a free count, well, the Kotokai pinned Hiyo Shirai, ah, huh. was not expecting that, not gonna lie, that big ass boot, yeah, that is, that, jeez, that was right on the back of the neck. Oh. But that, this is her finisher. Look at this big boot, straight to the jaw. Like, clean knockout right there. Powerbomb, going in for the pinfall, like, attempts, like, over there. And Dakota Kai will be facing against jo jo Josie Jane for the Empire Women's Championship. The, and again, the underdogs prevail in this, like, tournament. It is... It is time for our main event here tonight. It is Josie Jane versus Dakota Kai. Who do you think will win? We are back with the main event event here to this evening in Detroit it is Empire and it is Josie Jane versus Dakota Kai somehow these two underdogs have won their matches And Josie Jane looking for that Empire Women's Championship, but also the Kotokai is too. And now the Kotokai gonna make her way down the ring. Both women having tough fights uh, uh, when they were ahead of them. Kotokai skipping on down to the ring. She could be the victory, victorious one. Now, 
we begin with Empire. The Empire Women's Championship is on the line, shown now. Lucy Jane, Dakota Kai, ring that bell. Here we go, and Dakota Kai instantly locking up with Josie Jane. Josie Jane going around back. Dakota Kai slipping through over into the back as well. Uh, Josie Jane with a snap marrow taking down Dakota Kai. Uh, however, Dakota Kai quickly reversing that into her own arm drag. Um, and a quick punch to the face of Josie Jane. Both of these women not messing around. And already Dakota Kai going in for strikes. And now with a snap suplex taking down Josie Jane. Um, and lifting her up. Looking for a tornado DDT planting her down first into the ground. Now it's the arm drag. Now looking again for that headlock, trying to damage the knees, but this might be a very good idea for Josie Jane to do against Dakota Kai because Dakota Kai needs those legs to do a bunch of kicks. Needs every single oomph and power that she can to put in those legs to you beat Josie Jane here tonight and become Empire's Women's Champion. And quickly with a drop kick. I guess Josie Jane just figured out that that might be the best case solution. And now going in for a sunset flip. Powerbomb to knock it out of the park. Now lifting up. Um... Lifting up Dakota Kai. Dakota Kai looking for a lung dart onto the top turnbuckle, knocking Josie Jane senseless. Now Josie Jane quickly being knocked down into the can into the mat, not canvas. One, two, no, a two count right there. Josie Jane quickly standing up, and looking for a big old punch, but quickly gets reversed into swinging into the ropes. Quickly with a knee strike straight to the gut. Uh, Josie Jane into the ropes herself and a quick bicycle kick taking down um, Josie. Uh, we've seen both of them hit these hard combinations on their opponents. We've seen both of them topple great challenges in this tournament. Both underdogs could come out as champion. But there's no answer, like, there's nothing that can take away from how much they performed in this match and how much they performed in this tournament. Uh, there's a lot of respect given to these two competitors in the matter of wins or loss. But whoever wins is definitely walking out here with a title that was raised above the referee's head. And a double stomp straight to the gut. Just literally jumping and just like straight on it now looking for a oh this is the thing that put away re this was the thing that put away ear shrai that big boot that was in the corner that was the move that put away ear shrai could this be it already one two three and you're raining Defending first ever Empire Women's Champion after the heels being dug into that jaw. Dakota Kai. Here is your winner, and, new and she is holding up Dakota that title aloft. Congratulations to Dakota Kai. And Dakota Kai picking up a huge win in this tournament. The first ever women's champion and Dakota Kai just celebrating with the belt everywhere. The first ever women's empire champion. There we go. Right. And that is the entire 
tournament. Your winner, Dakota Kai. And for that, we uncovered wrestling for here. Um, and hopefully I'll see you a lot uh, next week for COVID wrestling.